We needed to evacuate the North American missionaries from Bolivia due to the threats and things that were occurring at the time in the country. La Iglesia. The church was completely identified with North America. That's why the church wasn't very accepted here. Following the evacuation, additional statements were being run over television in which high-ranking representatives of the ruling party in Bolivia were saying things about Mormon missionaries, and there was a distinct concern that they were positioning themselves to take church buildings and to take advantage of the church facilities. Our initial reaction to that was to have our spokesman in, in Bolivia, a Boliviano, uh, to respond to the false things that were stated, and he did so, but we felt that something more significant needed to be done. We looked for a project in El Alto, which is a power base for Evo Morales, the president of Bolivia. We felt that if we were able to do a project of significance there in a center of power, they would see us for who we are. We are in front of the hospital Los Andes, which covers approximately 300,000 people. A few years ago, this hospital had some terrible problems. The conditions were very inadequate. There was a need for training, there was a need for facilities and equipment. We went to work. We outfitted the hospital, there was an enlargement of the hospital. Likewise, our local members became involved. Some painted the hospital, others cleaned the waiting room, and others were in charge of the surgery room. When I went first through the hospital after we'd made the decision and there'd been an initial assessment made, a Cholita, a woman from the Altiplano, was leaving the hospital. I greeted her with a smile and said hello. She looked through me like I didn't exist. We now contrast that experience with when we came back the second time. We were there with Elder Christofferson of the Quorum of the Twelve, likewise with Elder Clayton, and Elder Rafael Pino, another member of our area presidency. The first person to approach me as I walked up to the beginning of this procession was a Cholita, a woman from the Altiplano, not a member of the church. She looked at me as if I were there. She looked at me with a great smile, with great joy indeed. They no longer saw us as North Americans. They saw us as representatives of the Lord Jesus Christ. The church image has changed completely. Now they have a true concept of the church, a church of service, a church of love to their neighbor, but especially a church of God, a church of Jesus Christ. My mind went to a young woman I saw in the hospital the first time I went through. Um, I looked at her. She was scared, in an inadequate facility. My heart went out to her. And then when we were there, and yes, there was this large gathering, a lot of love being poured out, my mind went to her. I don't know her name. I don't, I don't know exactly where she's from. I know she's from the Altiplano there in Bolivia. But I thought of her and what she represents. From what was a negative image now is completely positive because this project made a big social impact. They don't call me doctor anymore, they call me brother. One of the things that has been eye-opening to me, in addition to blessing the lives of people, these humanitarian projects do more, in my experience, to open the doors of governments than anything else we do as a church.